What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dying Light. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we attempt to slide a pass card. It's going to be key to our success, I guess. I don't know. When it comes to the, the whole bunker finding class, we definitely passed. And so now we've got a pass key so as to go down into it a little bit deeper. However, stuff looks like it respawned on us. Put that right there. How did you get down here? By order of the mayor, the entire contents of this bunker now belongs to me. Get away from it, thief! I'm going to kill the shit out of you. <laughs> like, you understand? Like, that was the word. What? What part of your minuscule reptilian brain thought that that was a good... Dude, I am a GRE-trained killing machine, and you already knew that. I told you I was with the GRE. Like, I am an animal. Even the GRE is like, we probably shouldn't have sent this guy. This guy is kind of just one of the killiest bastards I've ever seen in my life. Oh, look. See that green light? Yeah, I greenlit you, and now I'm greenlitting your I'm green lighting your treasure. So I hope you enjoy watching this from the afterlife or wherever the hell it is you are. I enjoy taunting the dead briefly, especially when they try to betray me. There's probably just going to be a whole bunch of supply caches down and in here. But yeah, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. I'm excited about this episode. I wanted to see what was inside the bunker. Thus far, there hasn't been that much rare loot or like that many you know special things around. But I keep hoping we'll find a couple. I. Doubt that, actually, maybe I'll close the door behind me, too, just to be safe. I don't think there should be any zombies down in here. I think that that's something that should not be a problem. It says that I can get up in here, but I guess not. I guess not. Let's just keep our eye out for anything that might be useful. we got a medium lockpicking chest over here. It's a pretty talented chest, all things considered, if it knows how to lockpick at a medium proficiency. Like, now it goes the other way, you idiot. And I'm like, I know I'm... It's a joke. You gotta, sometimes you gotta explain the jokes to these big, I don't know, physical squares, these voluminous squares. Oh look, another one. How many swords do I want to have? Because I'm feeling pretty good about, you know, sword supplies being what they are. Here, get the sabers out of the way. Get rid of some of these hatchets too, because I don't think I'm ever going to use them. And then we'll grab some more swords, because they're awesome. I realize they're probably inferior to a lot of other weaponries, because you can't, like, mod them or anything like that, but still. Wait, what? Did I miss something in this room? And how is there a zombie in here? That's not right. That door was sealed. How would there be a zombie in here? Oh, it's a floor plank. And what is this over here? Another floor plank, maybe? Okay, so it's just like scrap wood. Never mind. What's going on in here? How's life treating all y'all? Pretty good. I like how you keep your toilet paper. No, never mind. That's a bandage. I was going to say, I like how you keep your toilet paper readily at hand just in case you have to make one of those midnight trips real fast. How frequently those midnight trips actually turn into literal trips when you're trying to get to the bathroom. Like, Ugh. I hate that so much. That's one of my least favorite things of all the stimuli I hate in life. Waking up at four in the morning and your stomach is just like, and you try to ignore it and you go back to sleep, but it just keeps going and you're like, and you're like, ah, oh, I so I'm so tired. And so you like limp to the toilet and then you like I've fallen asleep on the toilet when that happens before. I've just been like, you just like black out. Falling asleep on a toilet, not that comfortable. You definitely, you have like a red ring on your ass for the remainder of the day. You'd be walking around the house naked, very baboon-like. It's, it's definitely, it's pretty good for spawning jokes from your significant other, though. That's one thing. Oh, a panga machete. I'll take you. Yes, and a titan enchant. Sure, why not? Why is there so much gray weaponry getting dropped around here? It's a very odd thing to be dropped at this point in the game. I don't know. Can we not get in there? I see body parts. I Something tells me that this bunker probably... Somebody else is here. I'm going to future-proof for just a moment by making a few more med kits. Yes, med kit. I wish you could craft multiple things at the same time. It would make me happier. I mean, you can sit here and you can just spam the space bar. That's like the easiest way that I've found to do it, but still. I would prefer it very, very much if you could actually like set an amount of things that you could build. I heard that the new XP caliber, when you build it, it doesn't have as much like oomph as the original XP caliber like it's basically just like a thin facade it's a copycat all right oh there's a hole right there hey let's go and yeah crawling through the vents like our name's McLean McLean on the brain as we go through the drain we won't refrain to leave stains on the panes. There we go. We won't refrain to leave stains Isan, on the paint. Crane. I'm in a supply bunker under the town hall. I think we hit the jackpot. That's great news, Crane. Thank you. Did you actually get Tapit to help you? Yeah, but I had to kill him in the end. 
I totally understand. Take some of these just so I can, you know, make myself a little bit of the old XP before we get up out of here. I'm sure there's lots of stuff to be looted. I just don't know what to go with right now. I'd be willing to bet like a vast, vast majority of it is probably. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Oh, this is the best quest ever. This is the best quest that stands above the rest. Ugh. It's so delicious. I'm so happy that we're here getting all of this loot. Something bad's gonna happen right now, isn't it? Run for your life. Pick up map with marked location. Okay. I don't really want to run for my life yet. I'd prefer not to do that part of the quest until I make sure that I got everything. I don't think the duffels or whatever are going to have anything for us, but damn, those disaster relief packages are going to be worth a fortune in XP. So where's the map at? Is it like up top? I got to go back into the building and like risk my life again. I know it was pretty bad in here the last time I came through, so I'm going to try and keep my head down as best as possible. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. Shit. Oh, you little bastard. Okay. Ow. Is there another one here? Or did he get me twice? I think he got me twice. Damn. I'm getting more skillful. They're getting a lot better at this whole, like, expectorating thing. Alright, so we need... Oh, never mind. Run for your life is the next quest. That's dumb. I was looking at the wrong quest mark. I think, is that it? Like, are we done with that other quest? It didn't really, I didn't see it give us XP, but we might have gotten XP. I was kind of focused on all of those disaster relief packages that I was picking up. I was like, mmm, all of your delicious packages. Put them inside my hands so that I can have them for myself. Yay. Okay, so back outside. I figure in this episode... Do I want to get back to side quests or do I want to do main quests? You know what? This is still like the same... Yeah, this is still the same thing for me. It's the same recording session anyway, so I think that I'll probably go... Let's go to the gunsmith. I bet he'll make us something pretty cool. It's just an easy quest, but I'd rather check it out and see maybe if we... He said something about a silencer, and that got me a little bit musty. It got me a little bit musky. I definitely... I felt vapors leave my body when he said that, and so... It wasn't voluntary. Like, I didn't, like, choose to do it. It was just kind of like, out it goes. Oh, it's these things. They're all beeping. Okay. It's the mobile phones. I like how they have little hoods over the top. We don't have mobile phones in the United States anymore. Or the ones that are like on street corners or whatever. We definitely don't have those, like pay phones. I haven't seen a pay phone in forever. They used to be all over the place. Like there used to be a pay phone basically at every major location. But yeah, I don't you don't see pay you don't see pay phones much at all anymore. In all fairness, that is not a technology that sees much use at this point in human history. Everybody got a cell phone now, what are you gonna need it for? It's a rough time to be in the payphone industry. Here, die already. I wish they had gone from the they had gone with the stomp from Dead Island. I like that one a little bit better. Oh look, a journal. Marvin Zucker's battle journal, the epilogue. I'll probably read those at some point. Get you out of the way. Yes, I shall remove your arms. You can leave on your own or I can remove your arms. And then I shall lockpick for murder right now. And there it is. Hello! Woohoo! How do you feel right now? Bad? I'd feel pretty bad if I lost my arm. There we go, and then maybe push you in front of this door so that we're a little bit safer. It's strange how we always seal the door, but like we never seal the giant gaping hole in the ceiling, even though there were clearly zombies on top of the building just now. Does this bother anybody else, or is it just me? I don't know, we can finally stow away XP caliber at this point. We'll throw that in there. I don't think there's anything else we're going to need out of here. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty solid. In fact, what I need to do is I need to hit up a store, but I just wanted to clear out that safe house first because I know nighttime's coming and I'm going to want a place to sleep. I just don't feel like dealing with any of the nightmares anymore. Here, we'll go over here then. And then I guess we'll maybe jump for the car. It looks like there might be some kind of package over here for extraction. Right below me, in fact. Hmm... It's a little bit risky. There are a lot of Zeds around, and I already have a lot of them, so I don't think that it's really worth the... I already have a pretty sweet collection of packages. Oh, there's a workshop right there. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, straight up the side of the building, then, if I can. 
And then we'll try and stay the roost for right now. I find that in this location, not necessarily the slums, but in Old Town, it's like really, really important that you stay on the roost because the ground is like a dangerous place that you sincerely do not want to be most of the time. Only bad things await you there. Oh, that was a pretty good grab. Nice job, man. Nice job. I appreciate you going out there and putting your elbows and your underarms at risk. You ever been punched in your under elbow? Or I'm sorry, your underarm? It hurts like hell. That is no fun. There's a pressure point up in there too you can ram your thumb into if anybody's ever like climbing all over you. Can I loot this? Yeah, I can. I like money. Go ahead and put it in my accounts. And then we will head back to Rupert's apartment. It looks like there's a distress call over here. Because we are having a side quest day. I don't mind helping people and just like seeing what we can accomplish. I got a lot of bullets left though. And I know I don't have any grenades. See if I can set these dudes on fire. Maybe make my life a little bit easier once I breach that location. A survivor died. Oh, he, they were beating up a survivor. That was my bad then. There you go. You guys can deal with the hard mode zombies if you want. You can keep throwing shit at me if you want to. It's not really going to help you much, but hey. You know, enjoy having no head. Yep. Tension's definitely coming to a head right now. No. You can't make me. I'm going to chop your legs off. Then you're going to fall to your death. Are you dead yet? Because it didn't, like, trigger the you killed a patrol message. But then again, maybe I don't get that. There's a baby around here. Well, I don't, I don't really need to go in there, so I'm not going to. I'd rather go to his apartment, maybe, and see if we can find this. Yeah, I was going to say, we don't need to go in there at all. Why even bother? Up and over we go. These are really nice windows. Like, seriously, the houses here are really, really nice. I am envious. I am envious. That's because I'm enjoying the fruits of apartment living right now, which every day's a brand new adventure. Get inside makes it seem sort of drastic. Like, do we need to get inside? I mean, I'll get inside with the job. I get inside the apartment. I find that Arnold Schwarzenegger, you just make a lot of noises and people seem to just be like going with it. Like, yeah, sure, that seems okay to me. That seems all right. Go to Rupert's Fiat. Okay. It's weird that they have the same pictures here. What? I love you. All right. Speaking. Just wanted to remind you to not be playing heroes in the dark, huh? Get back here or find a safe house. You've got about one hour. I love you. Is there some kind of Easter egg on this thing? If I push the button like 900 times, it becomes some kind of like teddy bear mounted rocket launcher or something. I'll have to investigate in just a moment. However, for now, let's see if we can find Rupert around. It's kind of quiet in here. Eerily quiet, in fact. Are those bullets? What are those? No, he doesn't keep bullets in his bathroom. That's not the place for bullets. Although, technically, you could put bullets just about anywhere. I mean, especially in this given situation. Societal decay kind of removes all of those initial misgivings about where you should keep your firearms. Maybe there's, like, a secret around here somewhere? Energy bar? That'll do her. Yeah, sure. Are these other lockers openable? Alcohol, sure, won't give us any HP back, but it's nice to have in case we need more Molotovs. He built himself like a secret lair in here somewhere, and it has something to do with the teddy bear. I don't know. Let's look. I'm gonna loot the place out real fast so that we don't have any like conflicting pings when I use my survivor sense. Plus, we could use any of the food we find in this place, and it'll work out just great. These all seem like kind of dangerous things to have around little kids, like aerosol. There's any number of, like, really, really hazardous objects right now that you have put just within direct contact with children. Looks like there's something down below us, too. Let's check downstairs and see what's down here. Who are you? I'm Crane. I was looking for Rupert. No, you weren't. You were looking for a gunsmith who happens to be named Rupert. Right, fair enough. Would like to talk about some weapon modifications? You work for Rise? No. Hmm. Well, I suppose that helps. But I'm waiting for my wife Jasmine to come back. Until she's here, I can't leave. Has she been gone long? No, not long. So it'll probably be a while before she returns. And what about these kids? Are their parents... Dead, I hope. Every day, I'm terrified that one of them is going to look out the window and see their mother or father shambling down the street. I don't know what I'm going to do when that happens. What have you told them? Half-truths. That a dark magic has taken over the city, but that I am a good wizard who can protect them. 
It's the sort of game that doesn't end. Jasmine is better at this sort of thing. Hell, I'm a gunsmith. What am I doing playing this magical nonsense? Seems to me you're doing pretty well. Well, I'm not. There's a girl named Isla. She's a diabetic. Only her insulin ran out a while ago. Now her blood sugar is sky high. She's dehydrated and exhausted. Jasmine says if she doesn't get some insulin soon, she'll slip into a coma and die. And here I am in this stupid wizard hat, and the kids are waiting for me to cure her with a magic potion. Maybe it's time to tell them the truth. There is no good magic, only the dark kind. Take it easy, Rupert. There's a drugstore in town. Maybe I can find some insulin there. Are you serious? Mister, if you could do that, I can't tell you how grateful I'd be. I've got a radio here. If my wife Jasmine comes back, I'll probably go home for a while, but I'll let you know before I leave. Do I get a wizard hat for this quest? Because I kind of want a wizard hat for this quest. We can be wizards together. We can confer on the fate of the children as wizards. Shall we throw them into the cauldron? Or shall we allow them to color and make macaroni pictures? The choice is difficult. The choice is difficult. It is not always clear the way that a wizard should take through life. So, let's have a look at this quest. We'll see if we can finish this off for right now. I feel like I've struck a good balance. We do like three or four episodes of main quest. We do three or four episodes of off quest. I like that scheduling. It makes me feel pretty happy about the situation. Let's go with the insulin. Where is that at? They say insulin in a different way. Insulin. I like it though. We need the potion of insulin. Where did I get a quest here? No, no, no. Health potion. There we go. Insulin from the pharmacies. All right, that's pluralized, which makes me worried that we're going to be on another wild goose chase. But you know what? Actually, no, I was going to say I love geese. No, I don't. Geese are awful. Geese are a terrible animal. Just grumpy all the time, squonking and honking and trying to act hard. They're like, go away. I'm trying to go fishing right now, goose. And they're like, Rah! and they try to like bite you. And they're like, Rah! and you got to like take a swing at them. And then you feel like an asshole because you're, what is that over there? What is that big rock right there? It looks like a guy peeing into the ocean. Why would you have a statue of a guy peeing into the ocean on the side of your... Hold on. Let me see what we can accomplish here. Obviously, there are a number of pharmacies that we should be visiting, but I'm going to go investigate the peeing guy statue. Nope, little zombie child. I don't want to hang out with you at all. That's probably why he's crying. Yeah, I just want love cuddles. I would be like, my cuddles would destroy you. My cuddles have been toned to such a level where nobody makes it. Oh, there's like a beachside resort out here. Maybe like a little reference or throwback to Dead Island. Either way, we can't get out to the peeing statue, so... It looks like they got it covered with like buoys and some other stuff. We might have a look around though to see if there's any secrets around here. I see no problem with that. I mean, it might be fun. I should probably do the potion quest though first. Saving little children from diabetes seems like the sort of thing that a heroic wizard should do, so... In my efforts to be a heroic wizard someday... Huh, he hit that guy right in the backpack and it still didn't count as an explosion. I should probably at some point turn in all these random relief kits too, but we'll get there. I don't want to go too far out of my way to do something on camera that I could just do like off camera and then come back and like, look how many levels we got. Isn't it swell? Is it... So which one's further away? I can't tell right now. It looks like they're both about equal actually. Probably should get this done before nightfall gets here. Or at least make some solid attempt. Yeah. There it is. I knew you could do it, Crane. I believed in you. Briefly. Very, very briefly, in fact. My belief is sort of... I don't know. I'm a skeptic. Deep down, I can't help it. We should probably... Let's do the safe house real fast. So that if we die, we don't have to go all the way back to like the beginning of the game. I didn't even see her, but alright. That works. I figure... There's a lot of barbed wire around here. How are we going to make this work? Oh, the door opens. That's a plus. Alright. Well, close this thing down so that we don't get any new intruder. Oh, a spitty McShitty. Okay. Look at you backing up and applying your super awesome FPS skill. I'm going to shoot you in the knee. You like that. Well... 
Oh, I can push this over the- okay, so let's get that while I'm here. I didn't even notice this, so... Finding objectives on accident is equally as good as finding objectives on purpose for me, so I don't mind. Nothing lootable in here, as far as I can tell, aside from the corpses we've been creating. Eh. Wasn't close enough. There we go. Got him now. Is there anything I need to do in here? Oh, we need to swap on the fuse box one more time. It's a big fuse box. Usually they go to individual stuff. I don't know if this controls the entire building or what. Anyways, in real life with fuse boxes, if you're unfamiliar, they typically, like, one will control... Well, that's what those little switches up there probably are. Maybe that's just, like, the master flip-on switch. The master flip-off switch. Nobody likes that. He, to be fair, he is a master of flipping people off, and it is pretty hilarious. Did you just ram me with your gooey, nasty body and poison me? That's not okay. That's lame, man. That's lame. You need to bring your social skills up. That it? We done here? There we go. I was gonna say, there can't be that many more further adventures that we need to handle. Looks like this lady clocked out looking at a picture. Lots of people dying up in here. Not a good day to be a random peasant townsperson. This is not the game for you. I don't suppose there's anything I can loot around here. I don't really care about the bodies though. What is this? 50 bucks? Yeah, sure. I'll take 50 bucks. Why not? I saw it, so I kind of have to loot it at this point. This place is still creepy as hell. I don't know if I could sleep here at night. This place is creepy as a ma. Hmm. Well, let's get back to the bed here, I suppose. But yeah, even though we've sealed the place off, I don't trust it. It's too big for me to, like, canvas and keep an eye on all of it. On the plus side, it is big enough to where you have, like, a place to escape and, like, hide if they actually get in. So, you know, take the good sides with the bad. Let's go get our wizard potion. I'll probably go for this one off on our left a little bit earlier. I don't know what the point of the barbed wire is along the top of the buildings. Do they frequently have problems with, like, cat burglars running around? Ow. There you go. Point well taken. I guess it's for people like me. I've seen a bus in a while. Let's go on a bus. Hold on. Can I actually go on the bus, or is that not a... Oh. I can't go on the bus. I'm not welcome. Apparently, news of my exploits has gotten around, and it's just ruined my ability to use public transit. Damn it. I love public transit. The things that happen on public transit are kind of magical. And that's legit. Like, whenever you go on public transit, I bet something interesting will happen. Luck medicine. I gotta pull this shutter up, don't I? Do I? Maybe? I can't really tell. What the hell is that clinking noise? I assume that there's a shutter around here somewhere that I'm gonna have to take care of in order for this all to function properly. Oh, you got up quick. All right. I thought you were going to be down for a little bit, but I guess not. Hmm, she got me too. Are you all down now? Okay. So now we need to figure out how we're going to access this building. It looks like... There's no access from here. Maybe there's roof access and we got to go all the way down through the building possibly. Let's try it out and see what happens. I need to buy some bullets. We need to find ourselves a vendor, too. So that if I get into a firefight with Rice's dudes, we can, like, fix that up. I want to do... Oh, there it is right there. Maybe? No? Maybe we go around the back, then. Oh, shit. Oh, these dudes got guns? Hell no. Stop shooting, you morons. Although, this is a great way for me to get some more ammo. Alright, so let's just, like... This is going to leave us dealing with a lot of random zeds. Oh, wow. Okay, so that one got taken care of, actually. We're good. We are totally good. I'm going to wait for all of these to filter through, then we'll go down and loot. I don't know if I should repair right now or what I should do, but... There we go. Oh, there's another one over there, huh? That's not good. He's going to continue making noise until this gets totally out of hand. Chop her head off the second she gets in here. Oh, there's a back door. Okay. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Let me grab these military rifles. I wonder if the camouflage would help right here. Let's see what happens. Try and, like, loot while it's here. And just, like, see if anything sees us. Because there is one, like, right behind us that could potentially be a problem. So this is a decent test. And inside the crate, we find ourselves some more cash-making valuables. 
Some other rando stuff. Oh, no, it's him. Okay. So maybe I deal with this dude. Holy shit. Well, had to take care of business, unfortunately. Gotta do what you gotta do. Let's get out of Dodge, because they're gonna come investigate that sound. We'll go through the back door of the pharmacy. We'll get our health potion, hopefully. Oh, it's a lockpicking game? Okay, hold on. Let me handle this dude first. There we go. I'm also going to try and keep a lookout just in case any of our speedy little friends try and get a little bit too handsy. There we go. Alright, we'll get rid of you. There we are. Probably open up a couple of these just to see. We could use some of the supplementary stuff. We have been learning a little bit low for a lot of our modifications. Although most of what we're missing is like plants, so I should probably get on top of that too. A little bit more gauze. Wouldn't insulin need to be refrigerated though? I think it would need to be refrigerated. I'm not sure. Got cash, but I'm not seeing anything else. Is there like a basement or something around here that I should be making use of? Hmm. Maybe the pharmacy's in the back, possibly. Search the pharmacy for insulin. Oh, there's a fridge right there. Oh my god. I don't see any insulin. All right, so back to the other location. We'll probably have to break off the episode before we get there, just because maybe I'll run it a little bit long. I don't know. I've been feeling, like, really, really just, like, I'm not going to call it generous, because I don't think that's the right word. But, like, that's what my first inclination was to say. But I've been feeling, like, really just sort of, like, eh, whatever. Just add a couple minutes if it means that we end on a good note. I don't like these cliffhangers, unless it serves to make the series, like, more popular. Like, so, for example, I'd probably give you a cliffhanger at the end of, like, a first episode, because that keeps people hooked and keeps them going. It's just, like, part of being a YouTuber. However... In this situation, we don't have a whole lot of, like, overhang anymore between the mysteries of the game, so... That being what it is, I figure if I can make it across town fast enough, we should be able to line up this pharmacy and get the loot that we want before anything else goes. That was pretty legit right there. Oh, no. Alright, so we're just gonna do that right there. Kinda cover us while we wait. We can open that up. Oh, I didn't really want to do that. Didn't really want to do that. And it was going to explode anyways. Great. Up we go. Let me find a location where we can hole up at real quick. Get a weapon out that's going to be able to handle these guys as they come in too. Damn. I like how it slowed down the sound effect for the alarm right there. Alright, well, let's just get what we need. Hmm. I wonder if camouflage would work right here. Let's try it. Looks like it's working. They all just went gray to us, even though there's a bunch of noise around. Ah, there's another fridge in the back. Magic potion! Well, liquor and sweets, I guess. It's a magic potion of sorts. I guess I could have pushed the button at any point, but just, like, didn't think about it. No insulin here. Troy, can you hear me? It's Crane. Yes, Crane. What do you need? There's a bunch of kids in the magic fortress. Did you know about this? It's news to me. We thought that place was empty. Do they need assistance? From what I've seen, yes. It's going to take time to get anyone over there. Understood. I'll stay until someone arrives. Hey, look, in the meantime, I need insulin. Now, I'm at the drugstore now, but it's been picked clean. Maybe you could check and see if the computer works. There should be records of people who bought the insulin last, along with their addresses. Maybe they still have it? Thanks, Troy. Out. Yeah, let me just use my magic hacker hat with the skill set that I don't necessarily have. Rupert, this is Crane. Look, no luck here. Damn it. Isla's lying down. She doesn't look right. I think we're almost out of time. Oh, but there is a receipt here for insulin sold to someone named Ekram Bozkurt. That ring a bell? That's Isla's father. Maybe he left the insulin at their home. His address is on the receipt. Alright, I'll head over and have a look. 
All right, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Dying Light. It's been my pleasure to be your host as we hang out today, kill some more zombies, and have a good time. I look forward to seeing you in all the future episodes. That's right, even in the future. Even though I don't know what's going to happen, I look forward to seeing you there. Hi, do everybody.